When you do what I do here on TikTok, inevitably you'll have some clap back. I see my job here as pissing off Trump LaFucks. Gotta be honest, business is good. <laughs> yeah, they'll come to my page and make their comments and such. Never about facts or truth or rule of law or anything like that. They attack me personally. Now, my wife will see some of these comments from time to time, and she will feel bad, and she'll say, Mike, doesn't that bother you? Doesn't that upset you that these people don't like you? I say, fuck no. Fuck no. <laughs> these people I have no respect for anyway. I would rather piss them off than have no impact on them at all. At least I know I'm getting in their head and making them think. It's always interesting to see what they say, though. They will question my veracity. They will question my virility. They will say I'm in my mom's basement. Well, this is my living room and my mom has been dead for 15 years. So yeah, you're wrong there. Very infrequently, I will get something creative that somebody says to me. Usually it's all the same shit. You're old, you're bald, you're ugly, you're whatever. It doesn't really fucking matter. I don't care. But every once in a while, there's something creative. And I got one today that uh, made me chuckle. And I'll probably steal and use. <laughs> but a guy sent me a comment, not apropos to anything I was talking about, and says, hey, did you get hit with a bag of nickels? <laughs> Actually, it was quarters. But, you know, I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> now, when I came out here on TikTok, it was very foreign to me to do the video part of this. I'd spent 40 years in radio and never really relied on this face to get me anywhere. And I don't think that it does. Certainly not a thirst trap out here. But that wasn't the point. The point was to call dumb fucks out. And that's what I do. And not surprisingly, that pisses off dumb fucks, and they come back and hit back at me. And that's cool, because when they come back with shit like that, what you look like, uh, if you're stupid, if you've done your research, that means they've lost. They've got no argument. All they can do is attack. They're trying to be bullies. But I'm going to tell you this. I've always been a bully of bullies. If I see somebody bullying somebody, I'm going to take it to them one way or another. So you trouble fucks can come out here and say whatever you want to me. It doesn't hurt me a bit. In fact, I get a chuckle out of it from time to time if one of you happens to be a, just a shred creative. Most of you are not. Most of you are stupid motherfuckers. But the bottom line is the reason you're doing this is because you're losing and you know it. You're flailing. <laughs> I've been doing this a while, TikTok almost three years now. It's taken some time, but I think we rational people are making some headway. We're beating your ass, Trump Lefux. You're on the run. And if you think we're going to let you go, no. We're going to keep taking it to you until we don't have to listen to your shit anymore. <laughs>